It is Tuesday at Can Lions. It's China Day, and what we've seen is a number of Chinese firms wanting to become more visible in the West, and there've certainly been plenty uh, here in Can. Well, one company you might not have heard of is Sohu.com, uh, and I'm pleased to say I can talk to Dr. Charles Zhang, the CEO and founder of the business. Uh, why exactly are you in Can? Oh, uh, I'm attending this uh, creative festival, right? And uh, representing Sohu. Sohu is the earliest internet company, the earliest income company in China. And we were one of the top three uh, PC era portals. Now we are into uh, the information stream, the uh, news APP. And also we are now the uh, Sogo, uh, Sohu owned Sogo is the uh, second largest uh, search engine in China. And also we are into also video business and also online gaming businesses. So you're, you're kind of conglomerate to like, yes. not unlike Alibaba and Tencent, but you're working in many, many sectors. Well, similar. Uh, we're all uh, competing in the same space, but Sohu is earlier than those companies, so we're uh, in, into every areas. Now, one thing that we've been discussing with various people is, is creativity and why, in some cases, that Chinese creativity doesn't necessarily travel well. Is that something that you recognize? Uh, first of all, the uh, sheer size of, of the population, where a lot of the Chinese internet companies stay in uh, in China to compete because too much plates, on, uh, too much uh, stuff on our plates to eat. So, tend to globalization is not a, a our, our top uh, agenda. Uh, and uh, the Chinese uh, creativity, is, uh, first of all, it's really the sheer size of the user base. So, with that kind of user base, uh, the the software, the applications, and also the Chinese culture, the people, the, 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 the kind of uh, either a search engine or social network uh, takes a different, slightly different form uh, than the, uh, the, the US counterparts. Um, so going forward, what do you anticipate happening? You talk about that your, your own market is big enough for you. How do you see yourself growing in the West? Is that something that you will consider? Uh, right now, I'm, I'm, I'm not considering actually, uh, because still the, uh, the we have 700 million internet users in China and uh, enough to, things to do there. Why, therefore, is it important for you to start gaining visibility outside of China? Uh, well, um, I'm here to learn and to, to communicate, and also we are a, a you know Nasdaq listed company, so we have actually also our gaming company also listed on the Nasdaq. Do you think that there will be certain things that you could adapt for Western markets at some point in the future? And what impact would that be on the marketing and creativity of those products? Uh, you mean in the future we'll adapt some of our products? Yeah, for example, there are, there's WeChat, for example, fantastic product. There are elements that, of it that I guess WhatsApp would love to be able to do. Are there products within your family that you could go, well, hey, we're doing that better than what's available in the West. Why wouldn't you want to exploit that? Yeah, we'll definitely look at you know some of the applications that are popular in the West and to, to learn to learn because humans are similar, right? So we, we definitely learn you know the, some of the actually some uh, predicting the trend you know human behavior you know to uh, so they, they you know learn about the product, but still focus on China. So I noticed that there is an element of uh, artificial intelligence and machine learning within some of your products. Is that a, a big thing for you, and how do you expect that to, to help you in marketing in the future? Yeah, I think uh, uh, the, uh, the artificial intelligence is a big thing because uh, for, for the mobile industry, mobile phone, uh, mobile internet, uh, uh, we have uh, we are getting uh, you know, information about user. User profile is uh, ever so rich about we know so much about the users so that and then the uh, machine learning uh, calculation uh, can match uh, you know the users uh, and with the exact the kind of articles or content and, and the, the understanding of the content are also much uh, more sophisticated because before we classified an article as a kind of a sports entertainment and uh, politics now we have multi, multi you know, like say a thousand dimension to understand uh, a article <laughs> And so that we can match the article with the uh, users, uh, much uh, so reading now becomes such a pleasure, and really exactly what you need. And also, uh, to uh, same time to match the advertisers, because China has um, you know so many cities and towns, and then you have uh, small you know millions of uh, small businesses that uh, you know the mom and chop shop, uh, all these people. No matter how the macroeconomy is doing, people need to continue to live their life with uh, all these services, learning English, you know, cooking. Uh, buying things, all kinds of things. Those uh, uh, 
need a lo LB lo location based services so that it's this kind of engine that's recommendation engine can provide a very good tool for the oldest mom and pop shop business to do business throughout China. So that's a big business opportunity, very Bri scalable. Briefly then, how far down that path do you think you are? Do you think the West is leading this race? Do you think China's doing very well at it? Uh, I think uh, China is, uh, is getting closer to the you know, West and uh, I think it's uh, going to surpass uh, the West. Uh, because with such a high demand, because it's uh, so many users and uh, competition is uh, so hard. You know, Chinese people are really hardworking. The companies are actually well. It's good. It's not good. I mean, they're copying each other. You know, if you have something, other company will copy you, and then it's, it's like a, a horse race, and you have to really move really fast because the stake is high. Because you have uh, 700 million internet users on, on the internet in China, and you have. Uh, uh, you know, so many, you know, a billion, I mean, so many businesses that you need to depend on. So what about all these Western companies wanting to get into China? Is that something that you're worried about? If you've got all these uh, customers, there must be all these Western companies knocking on the door going, hey, we'd like some of that action. Do you, do you envisage partnerships or what? Well, uh, it's not a concern uh, <laughs> because in the, in the past uh, it has been, Actually, from Microsoft to Google to all these, uh, you know, uh, you know, Western company has ba basically failed in China. Uh, for uh, I think it's, uh, it, I wouldn't say it's really a regulatory issue. It, it's really the um, the, the kind of uh, organization because you have a branch office in Beijing or in China. It, it just cannot the kind of uh, company structure. Uh, the, the, it's, a, it's not an entrepreneur organization where you, you work for the founders, uh, all the oldest uh, entrepreneurial companies. It's just a different um, uh, level of competition. So I think uh, it's not my concern uh, for the international companies getting in China, and I, I, I don't think they can make it in China. Dr. Xiao Zheng, thank you. Okay. Still watching? Perfect. Click here to watch another great video from CNBC International. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.